Hey everyone, so I'm going to start out with a little baking. This is really important as we're going to be using black eyeshadow, and this is going to prevent all the fallout from affecting your under eye concealer, so make sure to put on a lot of powder. To make this eye really intense, I'm going to use the Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Veneto, and I'm going to tight line the top and bottom just to make sure that it's a fully smoked out eye from inside out. I'm then going to take the Velvet Eyeliner in Black Moon. This pencil's softer than the previous one. And I'm just going to blend this along the bottom lash line. And then taking a brush, I'm going to diffuse it, just mainly softening the edges so it's more smoky. Then on the top, create the shape with your eye open. This is going to make sure you get that nice rounded shape. And then fill in the whole lid with the Black Moon pencil. And just make sure it's fully saturated to get a really dark smoky eye. Then I'm going to take some soft velvet loose powder and I'm just going to diffuse this right on top of the black pencil. This is going to make sure that it's fully set, it's not going to move, and it's just going to soften all the edges to make it a little bit more like a halo effect. Then I'm going to use the Pandora Duo Eyeshadow. I'm just going to be using the black color. And I like to put the brush upside down just to make sure it gets all the color right to the lash line. And then just push this right on top of all the pencil, the shape that you've already created. Then I'm taking that matte black eyeshadow Pandora and I'm just blending this over the pencil on the bottom lash line. And then we're going to go in for another round of loose powder, but this time we're just going to really blend out just the edges and just soften edges so that they're more smoky. Then one last time you're going to take the black eyeshadow and you're going to press this right on top, the lid, top and bottom. Just make sure you don't take it to the very edge because you want that softness. You just really want the lash line to be super dark. Then using a big powder brush, I'm just going to lightly dust away any fallout that's happened. And then you want to hold onto the brush a little bit tighter, and then you want to use circular motions and polish the skin and buff out any powder so it just looks perfectly smooth. Then I'm going to use Climax Mascara. On the top, I'm going to move it in a side-to-side -side motion. Just pretend you're brushing your teeth. This is going to really make the lashes very thick, and we're going to do the same thing on the bottom lashes with a side-to-side -side movement. Then using some clear brow gel, I'm using the Aral NARS one. You want to back comb the brows just to make sure that all of the gel gets right in there. Then use your finger and then press down the front of the brow. That's going to make it look very lifted and fluffy. Now I'm taking Laguna Bronzer and I'm going to use this more in a contouring shape. And I'm just going to bum this right under the cheekbones and take it a little bit higher. And then I'm going to use Fort de France highlighter and we're just going to put this right on the top of the cheekbones. Now I'm taking the lip liner in here as, and I'm blending it on the side, not on the point of the pencil because I want it to look very shaded. And then I'm going to use the Velvet Lip Glide. This one is stripped, and I'm just going to press that right on top of it and blend it into the lip liner. And there it is, the final look, a blacked out smoky eye and a nude lip. If you have any other requests, let me know. Thanks for watching.